Welcome to ChinaSecurities.com and Chinese Small Cap TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the Chinese small cap space every morning just after the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great Chinese small cap investment. It's Monday, March the 16th. We're right in the middle of earnings seasons. I have a number of great press releases for you, so let's get straight to them. First off, Gulf Resources trades on the stock symbol GFRE. They put out their fourth quarter and fiscal 2009 results. I'm going to give you the full year results. There's a manufacturer of bromine, crude salt, and specialty chemical products in China. Revenue full year, $87.5 million, up 62%. Gross profit, $35 million, up 59%. I'm doing a little rounding up and down. Net income, $22.5 million, or $0.22 cents per share. That net income number is an increase of 83%. Love these Chinese small cap stocks. Great numbers here. The CEO had a great quote. We met both our revenue and net income guidance for fiscal year 2008. Moving forward to 2009, we expect to see auxiliary revenue growth from crude salt sales, in addition to sales of bromine and chemical products. The company closed yesterday at just 37 cents per share and yet they had 22 cents per share uh, in, in, uh, in diluted earnings per share so great valuation there unless something's gone wrong that I don't know about their 52 week range 15 cents to two dollars and 45 take a close look at Gulf resources China Information Security Technology uh, put out their uh, they're saying strong fourth quarter in 2008 results they're taken under C PBY on the NASDAQ. Here are some of the highlights. 2008 revenue up 127.4% to $85.3 million. Gap net income $23.8 million or 51 cents per ba uh, basic and diluted share. The company trades at $2.67. So what you have here is a company trading at just a touch over five times earnings and they're climbing and the revenues are climbing by 127%. There's a disconnect there somewhere. Here are some of the milestones in the quarter. They successfully expanded uh, their presence to 26 provinces and provincial cities across China. Uh, they're ranked by Deloitte as one of the top 50 fastest growing high-tech enterprises in China for 2008. They're also ranked the Deloitte Technology Fast 500 Asia Pacific 2008 Award. $30.7 million in backlog contracts. About 8.6 of that is new. Uh, 22 million of that is contracts that were not completed in 2008. So strong backlog there. And they're given guidance for 2009. Revenue they're saying is going to be about $107.5 million of 26%. Performer net income, about $33 million, up 23%, and performer earnings per share at about $0.70 cents per share, uh, and that would be up about 23%. They closed yesterday at $2.67. Do the math. Great value there, unless there's something we don't know about the company. China Natural Gas, CHNG, fourth quarter and full year numbers. They're a provider of pipeline natural gas for industrial, commercial, and residential use, as well as compressed natural gas for vehicular fuel. Uh, a quote from the chairman CEO sums up the year. We achieved revenue of $67.7 million, non-GAAP net income of $16.2 million for the full year. Both are in line with our expectations. Natural gas sales, which grew 9 97% year over year continue to drive our strong results. The company say, states that they're the first China based natural gas retailing company publicly traded in the U.S. They closed yesterday at $2.25. I don't have a per, I don't have for the full year, I don't have earnings per share number, so you're going to go off, take a look. In the fourth quarter, we do know it looks like they had 14 cents per diluted share just in the fourth quarter. Puda Coal trades under stock symbol PUDC, uh, also fourth quarter and full year numbers. They're a supplier of China's high-grade metallurgical coke and coal for the purposes of steel manufacturing. Here are the numbers. Revenue, $242 million, up 46.5%. Operating income, $25 million, up 6.5%. Net income, $17 million, or 16 cents per share. That net income number is up 57%. Sales of cleaned coal reached 2.3 million metric tons, up 16.3%. A nice quote here. This is ear-to-the-ground kind of information that's great that you can only get here on ChinaSecurities.com. Great information from the company's CEO. We believe that the outlook for China's steel-making industry remains promising due to 
China's 4 trillion yuan economic stimulus package, which will encourage the development of infrastructure projects, which will drive the coke and coal and coal cleaning industry. That's about the fourth or fifth reference we've seen to the Chinese stimulus package over the last week and a half here on Chinasecurities.com. All of it positive, so it has to tell us that there's a real effect on the ground in China from the stimulus package. The company closed yesterday at 19 cents. Fuki International, uh, they announced preliminary, preliminary fourth quarter numbers. They trade under FUQI. Uh, this for the quarter ended December 31st. They expect revenue to be between 127.5, 129.5 million dollars. That would be an increase of 131 percent. Gross profit margin is about going to be somewhere in the 11.5 percent range. That's up from 10.5 percent last uh, for the last period. Uh, net income expected to be between 6.6 .6 and 6.9 million dollars. That's 30 to 32 cents per diluted share. Now that is down from about 7.4 million dollars or 39 cents per share for the fourth quarter last year. However, in the fourth quarter last year, the company had a one-time uh, tax gain of about 4.2 million dollars. Strip that out, that means they had about 3.2 million dollars for the quarter last year, and they're nearly doubling that to 6.6. .6, or sorry, they're more than doubling that on an operating basis uh, with 6.6 .6 to 6.9 million dollars expected in this quarter. And the company closed yesterday at three dollars and seventy cents. Sorry, on Friday at three dollars and seventy cents. They're a designer of high-quality precious metal jewelry in China. And finally, Chinatel Group making their third or fourth appearance on, on Chinasecurities.com last couple of weeks here. CHTL, they announced that they closed a $300 million deal that's U.S. dollars uh, with private investment group Olatoa Investment. That's for the sale of 49% of Chinatel's Class A common stock. Uh, part payable from March 9, 2009 through to September 9, 2010. Why is this happening? Uh, Paul Olatoa, CEO of his company there, says, we believe Chinatel is the best opportunity for us to participate in the exciting world of next generation broadband technology on a global level. That's great third, part, third party validation for Chinatel. And you've got someone who's plunking down money and putting his money where his mouth is to the tune of $300 million. So he's got to believe in that statement. Doesn't necessarily mean he's right, but that's a big sign uh, great third party valid validity there for China Tel Group. They closed yesterday at 57 and a half cents, way off their high of $3.29. I think there's great value everywhere here in the Chinese small cap space. Today's show shows it once again. Unbelievable revenue growth, unbelievable bottom line growth in staple industries. And you know these staple industries are going to continue to grow. So Chinasecurities.com, keep tuning in because I think this is where small cap investors are going to make a lot of money in the next five or ten years. Don't forget about our, our, our directory if you want to find the complete list of Chinese small cap companies. About 120 now. We're building that up to about 225 over the next three weeks. So keep looking for more great small cap companies. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.